the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might explode for one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, you know, how many miles have you put on a car that you've owned before? Like, have you I ever hit know. a couple hundred thousand or what? I guess I probably, my Cadillac probably hit like a hundred and four. 50 i think i think really did you put all the mileage on it no 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 i gotta use it was probably i put like half of it though yeah like i had a i bought a brand new kia rip it soul kia boys Mm. um and i had it for 10 years and i only put like sixty-eight thousand miles on it which is stupid low yeah and i did all the driving i was even driving to work i drove it to like california ohio like all that stuff Uh, listen come on you you wfh though fam so you know now i do um, but anyways, so, but I had a friend who had like, when it, this was like, I don't know, in the earlier 2000s, he had like a 1980s Toyota mm-hmm. that had like 195,000 miles on it or something like, and it was still running. Like some of those older cars had a lot of miles. I found an article of documented occurrences of cars with 1 million miles on it. <laughs> How is that even possible? Obviously, they've changed the engine out and everything else, and just kept the speed the speedometer in. No, man, it's it's they've actually done it. I I don't. I was thinking about it. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've driven a million miles since I became a driver in life. Exactly. In life. In life. Including driving like from Texas to Ohio, Texas to Minnesota, Texas to California. Like I, I don't think i've put a million miles on my car i'm just saying is that there's no way that a car could drive a million miles with all original everything well i mean like nothing in the engine but like they're not replacing the engine i mean but everything in a car has been replaced so well except for the whole engine because like they can fix parts but if the a lot of times what happens is the it costs more to fix it than it's worth so like they aren't just put in like these cars this guy his he had a 1994 chevy suburban Mm mm-hmm from Lincoln, Nebraska. He bought it new and decided to see how far it could go with proper maintenance. He he did that. He said uh, at, when he hit 400,000 miles, Jesus. he had to drive it for two hours with a broken serpentine belt to get it to get fixed, but it didn't ruin the engine. He ended up driving it for a million miles. Uh, he said the, his advice is changing the oil at the recommended intervals, changing the coolant every three years, fixing any coat cooling leaks as, as soon as possible, and use quality fu- fuel. That so was he, his tips. He did it with the original engine in the car. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. I mean, that's what you have to do because it's a million miles on the engine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But when you replace the engine, they change the speedometer. What kind of car was this again? A 1994 Chevy Suburban. A god named Subaru Altima? Yes. The other one, 1990 Honda Accord. Oh, well, yeah, those things run forever. He uh, he uh, had a million miles in. Uh, he was from Maine. Uh, he said, let's see, he bought it in 1996 with 47,000 miles. He drove 55,000 miles per year. That's insane. And ended up getting a million miles. So, it said, go ahead. No, I was going to say, so what I'm taking from these is that these two guys are in industries where they have to drive their cars probably for their work or they have. Oh, right, right. They yeah. obviously have to drive a lot. Yeah. So obviously they're going to go through the steps of taking care of a car, but. So many people do that now and don't, though. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, but these guys are like, are you putting 55,000 miles on your car a year? Do the math, Brett. How many is that a month? Oh, uh, like. It's over 2,000. That's 2,000 miles a month. How much so is that a divided day? Divided by day. So say it was like, 20, say 2,200 miles a month divided by 30 days in a month. You're putting, you're putting what, 600 miles a day on your car? What, kind of, in, what industry are you in where you can put six? You're a truck driver. You're a truck driver. They're driving across country is what they're doing. So obviously they're going to take better care of their car than anybody yeah, else. It, uh... That's this crazy. they said he, yeah, I think he said he just he he put fifty five thousand miles a year on his car. Inspect he went driving around inspecting cars. Mm. So, anyways, in two thousand eleven is when he hit a million miles. Mm-hmm. Honda gave him a brand new twenty twelve Accord when he hit a million miles on that car. Yeah, that's they're good. all like, bro, let's go. That's good advertising for them, if anything. Because it shows us that they make a quality product that can last a million miles if you take care of it the yeah, way you should. Yeah, exactly. 
And this that's, guy, that's fair. Florida, 2006 Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Uh, it says he used it as a mobile office and towing trailers for his pavement. So he was towing trailers for his pavement business, too, with this car. Said he, he'd done about 8,000 trips across Alligator Alley. Uh, it's an 80-mile stretch in Florida through yeah. the Everglades. Um, let's see, a 2007 Toyota Tundra truck. I'm not going to lie. I feel like also that these guys have like mechanics. I feel like they have mechanics on retainer who probably look after these vehicles. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not going to. They do all the main. They're constantly like getting oil changes. They're constantly. Exactly. I don't feel like I, like maybe I'm just guessing here, but I am guessing that these are guys who own businesses and have these cars and they're like, oh wow, I own a bunch of cars who for people who do this business and this car has made it to this many miles. Or the other guy who's working construction. They have like if they have somebody to fix their construction equipment, they definitely have somebody to fix like the utility vehicles, like a like a pickup truck or something. So I don't know if like a human person a single person who has a life and a job is going to be able to take care of a vehicle to the same extent, man. No, we don't have the knowledge, like, know-how, or the funditure to do so. Yeah, no, I agree, man. It, uh, but I mean, just the fact that it, it's just like a lot of people don't even drive for work anymore. A lot of people work from home. Like it's mm -hmm. like, you know, I've worked from home for many years, and I, I don't. Like, if I didn't go out and play volleyball or drive to go, like, you know, I've, I've dated some people that live 30 minutes away from the house. Like, if I wouldn't have done that, dude, I would have put, like, 5,000 miles on my car in the last eight years. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't, I drive, like, seven miles round trip to the grocery store. And, uh, you know, me on the opposite end of the spectrum, I work, uh, I only work a couple days a week, but I do have to drive in rush hour traffic back and forth from work. Usually takes me about thirty to forty-five minutes. Yeah, but the time doesn't mean miles. I mean, yeah, for a ten for a ten-minute drive. If it were clear, ten minutes, forty-five minutes when I'm coming home in rush hour. Either way, I put a lot of miles on my car. You know, I put a lot of them out there in the trenches. Yeah, yeah, you out there stuck in traffic. Definitely but... be putting the miles, the idle miles. It didn't say a thousand minutes; it said a thousand miles. <laughs> so, we're, we'll how more... many miles am I making then? Twenty. But yeah, you yeah, ain't a lot, man. You talking about time? You ain't talking about distance. Look, idling puts strain on the engine too. <laughs> yeah, that guy drove a million <laughs> miles. How many miles of just sitting in the car while it's idling do you put? But he put on it. We're not even putting that into. That actually makes it even more impressive. People don't. It isn't like, oh man, I got seventy hours of idle time on my engine. Twenty no. seconds of waiting at a stoplight. Over a million miles. This is what I talk about, where you talk about points that have no relevance to what we're talking about. But does not idle time not have a strain on the engine? No! Every... It, come on, man. <laughs> Standing in a single space for your body is going to break down while you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. You hear about those standers, them cashiers. <laughs> them cashiers' bodies breaking down from all that hard standing they do all There's day. just natural things that happen to your body. You're breaking down every moment. And every, yeah, every minute you're born, you begin to die. You and know? every time you put strain on anything, every time you use anything, it gets closer to death. <laughs> <laughs> wow sense. wow every minute i'm alive i'm so basically I, dead i just don't understand how idling an engine you don't think puts strain on it to the point where it like takes away from its lifetime capacity because i mean it does also letting it sit also takes in, away from in its the lifetime same capacity. essence that like when we're alive we're dying i guess yes there you go we'll say that yeah if we're if we're if you're running you dying if you're running, you're yeah, dying. Yeah, like, because if you got a lawnmower and it's sitting there with a gas engine running, it's dying. Yeah, but if but it's if, just sitting there off, it's not. It's probably not and faster if it's off, right? What's faster if it's off? Would a would a car last longer if it was idling for three days straight? Or would it last, or would it be more damaged if it idled, or if it just sat there off for three days straight? Which one's worse? That's what I just said. It was more, like, when it's off, there does no damage. Okay, then. I literally just said that. I, I, yeah, but I was I was trying to think of like in the car like realm. So yeah, I get okay. You, yes, we are we we are saying the same thing. <laughs> I love it. If a car was <laughs> idling for three days straight, it's doing more damage to it if it were off. Yeah, 
Yeah, because it's running. God yeah, damn, I proved my point. Yeah, you did. You <laughs> point proven. Point prover boy. I'm proud of myself uh, now. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. You too, TNT. I will. For Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.